All right, episode five is in the books. Um, as y'all seen, crazy episode, uh, all kinds of drama, pretty fun to watch. But disappointing with the outcome, but it is what it is. Uh, episode starts off revealing the snitch 100%. You know, we already knew at this point, but Mayhem confronts Dodson. Uh, you can tell the disappointment. That Dodson doesn't seem to care too much. Uh, you know, he, he's comfortable with the position he's in, and he just, I guess, his friendships that he's making here in the house are, are more important than the, the team and, and the guys that he trains with every day. Um, more drama ensues in the house. Um, niece gets the nickname Swagger Jacker. Um, as you've seen in previous episodes, and you'll keep seeing, um, he kind of cops other guy's style a little bit. I didn't let it bother me, I guess. Um, you see him with the bandana after I rocked that for a few episodes. You see him. You know, this episode, the big one was he got the cowboy hat, as Ferguson already had. Um, it's a different color, but why he immediately paints a B on it, just like Ferguson's hat, I don't understand. In his interview, he says it stands for Beast. Um, he's already he's already stole the hat, and now he's stealing the B. Um, Ferguson already had it there for, for Team Bisbing, obviously. Um, so he's getting a hard time from the other team, and it is what it is. But um, he rocks that for a few days, and one morning he gets up, and he cannot find his hat. Team Bisbing took it while he was sleeping, and it's now in hiding. And make sure to keep watching what happens with this hat. It's going to be hilarious. Um, anyways, Nice is convinced that Akira is part of this little prank. Um, you've already seen that those two have been going back and forth at uh, back and forth with pranks already. Um, so Nice goes crazy at the uh, training center and goes into Team Bisbing's locker room and absolutely trashes the place. Takes all their training gear, and all their bags, and just dumps it out and messes it all up. And and he and he goes a little crazy. Uh, team, we go train. Team Bisbing shows up for the fighter announcement and at this point Team Biz being certain that uh, Diego is going to get to go next. Um, Team Mayhem, or I'm sorry, Mayhem took Siler and Nice aside and let him know what was in but told the rest of us that Siler was going to be one next. Siler's reasoning was if he's going to fight the tougher guy he was going to go first so that he gets some rest before the semifinals. So that's what we're all thinking. Um, by the time fighter announcements come out, we already know what's actually going to happen. But anyways, Team uh, Bisbing shows up, expecting Diego to fight. Uh, we're waiting in the hallway to, to go out for the fighter announcement. And Nice and Akira start arguing and fighting again. Um, nice is certain that Akira took his hat. Akira's telling him he didn't. Nice is confessing to messing up the locker room. Um, tempers fly. People are saying stuff. Um, Akira challenged him to a bare knuckle fight in the garden. <laughs> you don't hear this, but a lot of us are snickering in the back. I, I don't know how many men that want to go fight in the garden, but it was funny. Uh, so they get it all calmed down. We go out to the uh, mats where the fighter announcements take place every week, and they're still at it. We can't get this thing going. We can't get... You know, we're all just sitting there wanting to get this done with, and these two are acting like kids, yelling back and forth. They won't just get in line and just be quiet for a second so Mayhem can take the center and announce the fights. They get him calmed down enough. Um, Mayhem takes the center stage where he's been thus far, um, and he announces that Steve will be next, but as planned, Nice pushes Tyler back and walks to the center of the mat and said, no, I'm going to take this. Before Miami's have a chance to announce Akira's name, Akira's already got a silly hat off and put it on Bisbing's head, and he rips his shirt off. Uh, I guess Nice wanted to swagger jack that too because Nice rips his shirt off right away. Um, they get in each other's face, and Nice tries the worst takedown attempt in the history of the show, I think, and ends up being mounted. Um, He's locked in an arm triangle from the bottom. This is still the fight announcement. This isn't a fight right now. And these two are going at it, trying to kill each other. Uh, 
both teams come in, all the coaches staffs there trying to break it up a little bit. I'm just there making sure nothing gets too crazy. You know, I got to protect mine. So, you know, these are the guys I train with. These are the coaches staff I have. I'm just, you know, I'm just there just to be there, just make sure nothing pops off. Um, they finally get them separated. Uh, Bisbing pushes one of our guys. Something happens. Coach Ryan says something back, and Bisbing starts attacking Coach Ryan verbally, and Mayhem doesn't take it very well and shoves Bisbing back. Bisbing goes on a little rant about he better not touch me, whatever, whatever, in his terrible English accent. Um, but it is what it is. Bisbing doesn't do anything back. He just threatens him, which is funny, but whatever. Um, so the next day's weigh-ins. At this point, we find out um, the fighter announcements at noon, and the next day the weigh-ins will be at 4 o'clock. So we're 28 hours from weigh-ins. We find out that Akira is 22 pounds overweight. He's got 22 pounds to cut in the next 28 hours. Um, I think it shows the weigh-ins the next day that he was pretty malnutrition, and he was, he was sucked down pretty bad. Um, malnourished, I should say. Um, he was pretty sucked down and he's miserable to weigh-ins, but they have a little aggressive stare-off and the fight's going to happen the next day. Um, these fights go down. Myself and maybe a few others on the team the whole time didn't understand why we were getting, why this matchup was going to be. Um, I felt that Siler was our next best fighter, I guess, left. Um, and that he would pretty easily handle Akira. Um, I feel like Akira and Nice both kind of hyped this little feud up a little more to ensure the uh, matchup each one wanted. I think Akira figured Nice to be the easier opponent rather than Siler, and I think Nice definitely wanted to fight Akira rather than Diego. So I think the two of them uh, escalated this, this a little bit to favor themselves. Siler seemed to not really care to fight, didn't mind fighting Diego, so, you know, I was trying to stick up for Steve, but if he doesn't mind, go ahead, man. You can fight whoever you want. It's the individual competition in the end, but I thought it'd be better for Team Mayhem to let Siler go in there and whoop on Akira and, and, and keep control. But it doesn't happen that way. The fight starts the next day, and as y'all watched, uh, some, some striking at the beginning. Akira is probably landing the better shots. Um, the fights. Nice attempts a terrible spinning back kick and ends up getting taken down. He's on the bottom. Akira's on top, ground and pounding a little bit. Um, and Nice transitioned into a beautiful heel hook. Um, he's cranking it. At the time, while I'm there watching the fight live, I was one of the few on our team that didn't see the tap. Um, I have trustworthy guys, Dustin Peg and Dennis and all those guys. They're telling me they definitely saw a tap, and, and that's something they're not just going to make up. So I'm thinking there's a tap too, but like again, I didn't see it. Um, after watching the episode, I will. You all seen it? It's definitely he definitely tapped out from that heel hook. Um, he gets slipped. There he gets slippery, and the foot pops out. The ref doesn't stop the fight, and the round ends with Akira probably winning, but with the submission attempt, um, it may have gone either way. Nice fired up in between rounds, not worrying about anything, but the fact that he tapped, um, man, at this point, you got to just realize this fight's still going on. You got to get focused for the second round. Second round starts, and Nice makes zero takedown attempts. You have the superior um, ground game. I have no idea why you want to stay in a trade with someone whose only chance of beating you is striking. Um, we all saw what happened. Akira connects, drops him. Gets on top, some more ground and pound, and the round ends. I am optimistically hoping they gave Nice the first round, and we'll see a third. But who knows? Um, if it was def if it was done, it was definitely going to be Akira's fight. Uh, as soon as the fight ends, Nice goes to the corner, sitting down, and Akira comes over and machine guns him. And Nice jumps up and tries to attack him. Uh, everyone's trying to break it up. Coaches in there, referees, athletic commission, everyone's in there trying to break it up. It's just craziness. Mayhem sprays down Bisbing with a water bottle. Um, Bisbing, right back at his usual self, starts name-calling and threatening, but yet still hasn't done anything. 
Um, the head athletic commissioner from Nevada comes into the ring, war uh, tells Akira that that he may possibly be suspended for his little antics after the fight, I guess, his little machine gun. Um, but then it's announced that the fight is over. We already know what happens at this point. Um, if, the, if, if the fight's not going to a third round, it's pretty obvious who's going to win. Um, Akira gets his hand raised. Team Bisping gets their first win. Team Mayhem suffers our first defeat. Um, we're now 4-1. and one. Still three fights to go. Uh, you'll see if we get it back, get back the momentum or not. Crazy episode, man. Uh, real, a lot of drama. Pretty good fight. Um, it was fun to watch, that's for sure. It's the first time I got to see it, so it's fun to watch. Um, with that said, I'm taping this obviously the day before. I'm leaving tomorrow morning for Ohio. Super excited about that. Get to go back to where I'm born and raised. Uh, see all my friends, family, and fans back there. We're going to do a, uh, a meet and greet at the local Buffalo Wild Wings in Perrysburg. Um, hope, obviously, if you're there, I've already seen you at this point if you're watching this, but I hope to see everyone there. Um, should be a good time. And, and again, thanks for the support. And just keep tuning in every week. And we'll keep doing this. Uh, couple more weeks and I'll be fighting again in the semifinals so stay tuned for sure. Thanks.